As a musician, I feel like I speak for a lot of people when I say I've never felt more susceptible to marketing and less sure what my next musical investment should actually be. Music equipment is expensive as fuck, and being a musician often means you're poor as fuck. It's a really difficult landscape to navigate, so in this video, I'm gonna share some strategies that I use to help me get the most value out of my musical purchases. Okay, so we're gonna ask three questions to determine whether we need something. Who decided I need it? What will I do with it? And is there a different option? I find I have an increasingly difficult time remembering back to the inception point of my supposed need for a product. Did I see it in a targeted ad? Did I see it in somebody's YouTube video? And to make matters worse, it feels like the algorithm knows when we're considering purchasing something and they just circle in on us like buzzards until we're inevitably consumed by our need to consume. Simply thinking back to the source of our interest or obsession with a product is a good way to break the spell and avoid needless spending. Question number two, what will I do with it when I get it? This might seem obvious, but it's important to get a concrete idea of how you're going to use the thing after you buy it. Maybe there's a guitar player I really like, and I see them posting a video of themselves playing through a specific effect. And now I wanna drop $300 to get that same tone. But let's think about that. How practical is that really? Is that effect pedal going to instantly fill some kind of hole in my playing style, which will make me sound like that player? It's really easy to imagine that the next piece of gear we buy is the thing that's going to take our artistry to the next level. And this is the idea that companies are trying to sell you, that their product is the thing that you are missing. What's important to note, and often sort of boring and difficult to reconcile, is that skill is likely the missing piece of the puzzle that makes that piece of gear sound so good in the hands of the artists who we admire. Investing in your skills is a much better use of your time and resources, which will give you greater returns over the course of your musical journey. Question number three, is there a cheaper option? This is the cornerstone of my personal music making budget. The music gear industry is filled with these frivolous products and really outsized marketing budgets. And it is very common that there is something that is just as good or better than the thing I thought I wanted, which costs a lot less money. Better yet, sometimes I already have something that can do the same thing as something I thought I wanted to buy. For example, Guitar pedals, obviously sick as fuck. They're like, you know, cool little capsules that you get to add to your custom modular pedal board. And the intellectual property of the effects and the labor involved in building handmade boutique pedals understandably results in some of these things being very expensive. That being said, I think a lot of the perceived value of effects pedals, and let's keep in mind that there's a huge difference between value and cost. A lot of that perceived value comes from the way these things are being marketed. There's a gotta catch them all thing happening here that I think is worth examining. I've had the same $99 Ibanez Tube Screamer on my pedal board for the last 10 years. Maybe if I replaced it with the latest greatest overdrive pedal from a boutique company, my tone would get a little better. I doubt that would be worth making a boutique effect pedal my next major purchase. Uh, one caveat I wanna make is that buying more expensive gear often means less costs over time. If you're buying the cheapest thing every time, you're gonna be replacing it, you're gonna be repairing it, and eventually the cost is gonna add up such that you should have bought the more expensive product. Buying gear used often requires more effort, but that time and energy are often the currency we're exchanging for dollars. And just like any skill, you'll get better at hunting for gear over time. Browsing Craigslist, Reverb, eBay, when you already know what you want and you don't need it right now, is a really good way to save a ton of money in the long run. In my mind, there are a lot of advantages to buying things used. First of all, it's a much more environmentally friendly decision. You're not bringing a new object, you're not bringing new plastics into the world. And second, you end up with way cooler shit. Every time you end up with something that isn't on the shelves of Guitar Center, it's not on the front page of Sweetwater, you're ending up with something that sounds more unique and therefore your music will be more unique. 
Lately, I've been realizing that an abundance of gear and plugins and effects pedals actually reduces my creativity. It's a little counterintuitive. You'd think that having access to every sound under the sun would make you some kind of musical production god, but I find the weight of choice just increases with like every forking pathway that I add. Having to sift through choices just suppresses my natural creative instincts and makes the process less fun. The best thing about music, my favorite thing about it, is that the more we learn about it and the more we talk about it, the more we can't help but learn about the world around us. I think we have a very human tendency to extend ourselves outwards into our belongings, our possessions, when introversion and self-examination is always a more fruitful expedition. And the proof is in the pudding. Like, in the end, the coolest sounding records were always made by a creative mind within a limited framework. When you clearly define your limits, you're forced to look inward and attend to and develop the most powerful gear there is, which is your fucking noggin. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video in the spirit of sort of what I've been talking about. I'm never gonna monetize it. Uh, it would just feel so dissonant for an ad to pop up in the midst of, of these ideas. Um, but if you could, please like and subscribe, listen to my music on Spotify, and check out my Patreon. Thank you so much, I appreciate you. One thing I forgot to mention, is uh, if there's a piece of gear you're currently considering buying, drop it in the comments and I will talk you out of purchasing it.